Pankara is a family owned and operated business. Uh, we currently produce seven different varieties of premium stone milled whole grain pasta and we also produce stone milled flour for the market. We started the business uh, officially in February 2010 uh, but it wasn't until March 2011 that we actually started selling the pasta to the market. Well, the Maitland family are farmers by trade and that's uh, what they've been doing for the last five generations. So um, we saw an opportunity to start to value add uh, what was already happening on the farm. So uh, the pasta is actually made from durum wheat, which uh, is what um, the best quality wheat to make uh, pasta. So uh, we were already growing durum, so we just thought we'd take it to the next step and value add what we're doing on the farm. Pankara is a niche market, so whole grain pasta is not something that is mainstream. Um, and we really stumbled across the whole grain uh, pasta because the first grain that we got milled was in a stone mill. And we really liked the taste and the flavour and the texture of this particular pasta. So we wanted to know what others thought as well and we conducted a series of surveys and tastings. So uh, we had a tasting at a law firm in Adelaide and an accountancy firm and we put Pankara up against a premium imported Italian brand and they were both unlabeled and the response for Pankara from those surveys was really positive so we felt confident enough to enter the market. I don't think it's one particular thing. I think um, it would have been nice to feel more comfortable in the food industry and have better knowledge of the food retail market because it is quite a diverse market and we're only really just getting our head around it now. We looked at a lot of reports and um, had access to some statistics about the general pasta category and we realised that this pasta category in Australia and worldwide is huge. So there's a lot of stuff from Woolworths and Coles and bigger supermarket chains, uh, a breakdown of all the brands. And we realised that there was, there was a hole in the market because there wasn't anything for whole grain and that particular segment was just called other. So um, we started going out into the shops and looking at you know what, what other whole grain, whole meal, spelt pasta, that sort of thing. And there really wasn't a premium whole grain pasta out there. Um, and a lot of people were deterred from whole meal because it tastes browny and cardboardy. So we wanted to make a pasta which was not only tastes great, but was healthy for you. So feel, filling that gap in the market. Keeping cash flow under control for us is about forecasting income and appropriately managing the costs that's attributed to that income. The online marketing strategy is really important because we live in a remote area so it's a direct way for us to communicate with our customers. At the moment we have a website, uh, we have a Facebook account, Twitter, um, and we're just about to start our first e-newsletter. Um, Twitter in particular is really important in the food industry. There are a lot of uh, chefs on Twitter, a lot of food bloggers. So it's a direct way of us to communicate with them um, even though we're based in the country. We try to meet once a month and talk about what we're all doing, uh, where we'd like to go, our goals, not just in the next 12 months but also in the next five years. That's always in the, at the back of our mind. Um, we also engage in customer services um, and consultants who are able to um, advise us on where we're going and which direction we need to be going in. And one thing we would like to do is set up an inventory system um, which costs a lot of money but I think it will be better to handle our stock and our sales so that's something that we want to do to create a better business for ourselves.